Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this Tim Hortons mug and I'm going to sand it all down. I want to see if I can do a glitter mug with a plastic tumbler like this. So the first thing I'm going to do, sand it all down so I have a nice white base to work on. Okay, I now have this all sanded down and so what I'm going to do is um, put my design on here. I can draw with a uh, pencil so I'm only going to be going to the lines. So as you can see I'm drawing that on up here and down here and now what I'm going to do is tape off different strips because I want this to be as even as possible and a striped mug. So I'm going to finish this here and then tape down the stripes with some washi tape. Okay, so what I've done is I did a thicker one and then a thinner one that I measured and cut so that I could have kind of this repeating pattern around. I'm also going to do one in the center here that's even smaller, but first we're going to need to take all of these off. So you can see the lines that are on here. An easy way to do that is just to take my thing here and cut my way across just kind of that way I keep it at the top so I can kind of keep an eye on my um, lines so I don't lose them You can see I kind of have all my patterns on here. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is paint in the colors that I want in acrylic paint. But first I'm going to add that line in the center of this big one here. Now that I have all the lines on here done, what I'm going to start doing is start painting on the acrylic paint. I'm going to go with this sort of mint or aqua color turquoise and some light pink. I may actually lighten this up even more with some uh, white and I'm just going to paint in the lines really quickly and that's going to be my base coat. So I have the bluish green all finished. Now I'm going to start on some of the pink here that I've made up.
Okay, so I have my cup completely painted all around in the base color that I want. The next thing we're going to have to look at is how we're going to be adding the glitter onto the mug. I think I'm going to start with the white because it's the easiest to get on there. So that's the next step. Okay, so what I've done is I have this glitter paint here and it's a clear with uh, ultra fine glitter. And so I'm just doing an all over coat of this. Uh, not only because it seals the colors in, but also because it gives a fine coat of glitter just so we have a base of the sparkle on there. And I'm just going to paint it all the way around the mug just so we have a nice little shimmer on there already. Now that the cup has dried completely with the paint, I'm going to be using some Mod Podge and different colored glitter. Here's the pink, some white, and our mint green. And what we'll be doing is putting a layer of the Mod Podge onto the mug and then sprinkling whichever colors of the glitter over top of the Mod Podge to get it to stick. So I think we're going to start with the either the blue green or the white. I feel like the pink is kind of the the brightest color so it's more likely to stick to places we don't want it to. So I've decided to go with the teal glitter to go on first because it is the darkest so we're going to work our way from darkest to lightest and what I've done is put some uh, construction paper underneath so that the glitter will fall down onto the paper and we can keep reusing it. Now the first thing I need to do is start painting on the Mod Podge. I have now completed all of the green sparkle on the mug, so I'm going to start on the pink.
I now have all of the pink glitter on and we're going to move on to the white glitter to finish off our base coat of sparkle. So that will be this right here, our white sparkle. My next step is going to be taking the Mod Podge and doing an all over coat to seal everything inside. Now that I have my cup all covered and dry, I'm going to put some decals that I have painted using some gouache and watercolor paint. So I made a number of different candies and I little things that I can put on here. And so we're gonna start sticking those onto the mug as Now that I have my pieces stuck on and it's dry, I'm just going to do an all over layer of Mod Podge just to seal it in.
Now the last thing we're going to do is put a little bit of UV resin over top of the Mod Podge. This will shine it up and give me the ability to sand down the surface and make sure it's nice and smooth. I have my bowl here and I put a little bit of glitter in the bottom just because I really want this to sparkle. Now I'm only going to use the glitter in the first layer. In the second layer I'm going to be sanding so I do not want any glitter in there. And it's just like with the Mod Podge where I'm going to mix this around a little bit just to get the glitter. Try to get out any bubbles I can. And then just spread it on. Ready? And I'm just going to hit it with some UV light. Okay, now that we've hit that with the UV light, I'm going to do one last layer going this way. Um, you want to alternate going down and across because it will uh, not leave as much streaks or bumps in your resin. So I'm going to do that and then we're all done. So this here is our finished mug. We have everything done. It is dry. We can now move it around, get a good look at it, and it really shines when in the, in the sun.